show you how you would send an email to your prospect once a referral has been submitted in the hub. You can set this up automatically using a paid Zapier account. Um, I would also suggest before you get started with these steps would be to open an incognito window, navigate to one of your referral campaigns and fill in the information of a test referral as you can see here that I have done already. Um, just make sure that you have access to this prospect's email address, whether it's a fake email address or your personal email address, as you'll need this for testing later on. So first of all, go to your Zapier account and click on Make a Zap. You'll need to choose a webhook as the first step. Keep this as catch hook and save and continue. You can skip this part and you'll see that there is a URL that's automatically generated. So copy this to your clipboard, go back to your hub and navigate to the webhook settings. Click on add a webhook, paste in your webhook URL that you've copied from Zapier and give it a name. I'm gonna call it referral email. Next, scroll down to uh, the events and you'll need to choose uh, an event here, which in this case will be referral milestone reached and click save. Once you've done that, go back to Zapier and you can see that it wants you to test out this step. To test this out, go back to your incognito window where you have the referral campaign open and submit your test referral. As you can see, the referral has been submitted. So let's go back to Zapier and click on, okay, I did this. So the test was successful. Let's view your hook to make sure everything looks okay. So as you can see, we have the prospect information here. Great, okay, so let's continue to the next step. Connect your Gmail account. So choose here Gmail and then continue. Click on send email and continue. You'll need to choose your Gmail account here. I already have mine connected, so I'm gonna click, click on continue. In the to field, you're going to scroll down in the catch hook section and find the parameters prospect email, which is here, so click on that. You can fill in if you want the CC, BCC, etc. options. What you will need to fill in is the subject and the body of the email. Once you've done all of that, click continue and you'll need to test it out. I've already tested mine out here, but what you will need to do is click on test and it will send a test email to your Gmail account. Once you're happy that that's done, click on add a step. So the last step of your zap is to add a filter so that the email is only sent once the referral is initially submitted. So click here on filter, save and continue, and then only continue if Click here to expand your catch hook section and scroll down until you find parameter status label submitted. For this field, choose text exactly matches and type in here submitted with a capital S and click continue. Test your filter and it's all good and you're done.